today. Here. We absolutely do. We want to let you know everything that is going on in downtown Indianapolis. The about 125,000 extra people who will be here as well. But there is also something for Hoosiers to do. Sam Johnson is down at the Indiana Convention Center covering the kickoff to NBA crossover. That is live in downtown with final preparations being made. Why Gina Glaros is also downtown on the circle. But for first, hey, we need you to know about the forecast. We've got snow moving in. Chuck Lofton also down there at the Indiana Convention Center as part of the NBA All Star Weekend. Good morning. Good morning, and I've got to tell you, Julia and Julia, I am impressed with the NBA crossover experience. Uh, the hoops around the world have come here. This is a celebration of the WNBA. In fact, it's kind of a mock WNBA Draft 24 uh, sponsored by State Farm. It's all out here, and they're going to celebrate the college basketball players who are going to be entering in April that draft. And, you know, we had the number one draft last year with Aaliyah Boston. What if we get Caitlin Clark. So this is going to be a cool experience. Some WNBA players will be here to say hi to fans. We need to get serious about the weather because we have some weather to talk about this morning. And fortunately, we're nice and dry here. Regional radar on our live Doppler 13 system. And notice that we do have uh, some snow. It's in the northwest part. Not all of this is hitting the ground, some of it evaporating. But we sure will see it later today. Right now, we are watching temperatures very closely. We're above freezing at 34, but Lafayette now at 31. Notice what's going to happen today at 10 a.m. Snow will cover about half of the state, including the north part of the metro. As we move into 2 o'clock then, snow moves as far south as Bloomington, and we could get some two to four inches of snow potential. By 7 p.m., this starts to move out, but I got to tell you, uh, I am impressed with the potential for snow. And take a look at this snow map. Two to four inches is what we're expecting today. Uh, that will all fall, but it won't necessarily gather on the ground. A lot of this will be wet snow and start to melt. And we're going to talk more about that. I took a shot earlier today and missed, and you're going to hit one, right, Sam? We're going to try. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to try, too, to keep you safe on the roads. Lindsay Monroe in the traffic center this morning. We've already had a problem this morning, right, Lindsay? We have. And good news, it has since cleared. So we are back smooth sailing on the city's south side. This is I-65 down near Hurricane Road. Earlier incident now cleared. Do want to remind you of some local street closures, a part of this big all-star weekend downtown. Yesterday, we had several closures around Gamebridge Fieldhouse. That included Delaware Street, Maryland, parts of Pennsylvania, the south side of the circle, as well as Georgia Street. Now starting today, around 3 3 p.m. South Street just north of Lucas Oil Stadium is set to close as those festivities extend down to Lucas Oil later today. Going to be a good weekend, but do want you to be prepared for those closures. They will continue through Sunday. All right, thank you, Lindsay. Well, NBA All-Star Weekend officially underway here in Indianapolis and after years of really planning. So thousands of fans were downtown last night tipping off the festivities officially. So Gina Claros is live downtown with a look at all of the fanfare and even some fans that are telling you about their experience. Good morning, Gina. Good morning to you. You know, anywhere you look here on Monument Circle downtown, it really spells NBA All-Star, including these Hoosier Historia basketballs. I want to show you the boys of Milan. Look at this basketball state champs 1954. All the hype really though started last night with the tip off celebration, the roar of the engine of Tyrese Halliburton in an Indy pace car driven by Connor Daly outside Bicentennial Unity Plaza. Uh, he it was in the passenger seat, a crowd of fans phones out just waiting to get a glimpse of the star. Inside Halliburton joining Tamika Catchings, Larry Bird, Mike Epps, and Boomer, people of all ages in the crowd. Grammy Award winner T-Pain kicking off the musical performance last night. He performs again tonight at the convention center with DJ Zed with several musicians and dancers on hand. Now today Monument Circle is going to be serving as one of the many fan zones as we mentioned these basketballs a place for pictures and hoops several DJs on hand here on Monument Circle. Uh, more from fans coming up at 630 here on Sunrise. Ladies back to you. 
Yeah, and if that was the best day of that fan's life, then she is going to have a really nice weekend ahead of her. <laughs> Gina, thank you. Also happening today in downtown, it's the opening of all, all NBA All-Stars premier immersive fan event. So we're talking about NBA crossover. It's happening inside the Indiana Convention Center. Our Samantha Johnson is there this morning with what fans can expect when they head indoors there. And good thing it's indoors this morning, Chuck. Samantha. That is right. And listen, we're talking about 350,000 square feet of, of activities here. Chuck and I have been having a blast so far this morning. And now I want to show you this one. Okay, this is Coinbase Moonshot. I want to say good morning to Gary. This is really cool. I got a sneak peek a second ago, so I'm prepared. Okay, but I want you to walk us through it. What fans can expect you yeah. lead the way. So welcome to Coinbase Moonshot, where fans can come take a shot in a deep space <laughs> and see if they can score at the speed of crypto. So come on in. All right, come on in. Here we go. So you're, so you're going to come here, you're going to take a free throw here. Okay. And you're going to start a play game. It's going to be 20 seconds and see if you can score a basket when the target gets to, to, the, to the back of the hoop. All right, I'm going to put my mic down because we're going to try this live television. Here we go, okay? Yeah. Awesome. All right. yeah, so depending on how you do, fans here will be able to get a digital collectible afterwards. There are going to be three tiers, bronze, Oh, close. Get it? Oh, oh no. so close. So close. All right, so well, I come didn't on over here. Prizes. So afterwards, fans here will get a digital collectible here. So you okay. are a commander tier, which is gold. Okay, good. And they're going to see how long it took and the well's their score. And then fans can come over here. Right. They can get the digital collectible on their crypto wallets here uh, through uh, scanning the QR code or tapping with their phone. And then there's prizes, and then prizes out prizes here. over this way. Come on over. And then you can redeem whatever you got inside. Exactly. You got all these merch your pins, For free posters, shirts and bags, and you're the highest tier, so you get everything here. Very cool, Gary. Thank you for walking us through that. We've got much more here from NBA Crossover. Chuck and I will bring you the live action still ahead on 13 Sunrise. We'll see you soon. So, Samantha, are you the highest score because you're the first to try it? <laughs> yeah, okay, okay that's we thought fine. so. She's got bragging like, rights this win? Yes. We love you, Sam. Thanks so much. All right, well, we know music is playing a big role this weekend. So many big-name artists are taking the stage and are already in the city. So last night, some of those artists performed with the Madam C.J. Walker 17th Annual All-Star Gospel Celebration. Big names like Kalante Gavin and Corinne Hawthorne brought their praise to the Circle City. The celebration also paid tribute to Indy's own Mike Epps and his wife Kyra for their work in the community. And I think once we recognize him and give him the glory, then everything else falls in place. It feels so great to be able to set an example to other couples, you know, to, to people in general, that if you start something and finish it, that rewards are like on the way. So the goal of this celebration, simple to highlight that All-Star Weekend can be more than just basketball. Great weekend for basketball, being back here in, in Indianapolis, Indiana, because basketball is king here, you know. Certainly is one of the legends, by the way, here in Indianapolis for All-Star Weekend, there, Oscar Robertson. Big O is a Hall of Famer and an NBA champion. His 1955 Crispus Attucks Tigers became the first all-black team to win the state championship here in Indiana. In fact, the stage play we've been telling you about this week called Touch of Glory pays homage to his team. It's playing at Christmas Attucks High School this weekend. And we're also learning this morning a statue honoring Robertson is coming to Indy soon. So you'll be able to see it in front of Christmas Attucks High School. It'll be unveiled sometime next year. So right now, volunteers are packing meals inside of Lucas Oil Stadium. It's not all play. It's a lot of work that goes into this weekend, too. This is part of NBA All-Star 24 Hours of Service Project. The goal is to fight hunger in Indiana by putting together one million meals. Volunteers say all of this food will be given to food pantries across Indiana. Indiana. In addition to Lucas Oil, volunteers are also at the state fairgrounds packing these boxes. Here with the Indiana State Fairgrounds, what we wanted to do was make sure that we gave back. We wanted to be a part of this amazing opportunity for our city. And since we are an organization that gives back yearly, we wanted to make sure that we started here as the first shift and uh, make sure that we did it right. 
We told you this is a 24 hour service project. So they worked in the overnight hours. They started at four o'clock yesterday afternoon and they'll be packing these meals until four o'clock this afternoon. So by now, you know, we've got you covered for NBA All Star Weekend. Our live team coverage continues early tomorrow morning on 13 Sunrise. Plus, we've got a list of fan events and a guide if you want to know what to do for going downtown. All of that is posted on WTHR.com slash All Star Game. Good morning.